slips here, or they'll bring you a slip. Uh, I do have a few questions for you from the audience. By the way, my name is Adrian uh, I'm from Canada. Thank you for the presentation. The last video was a great finale to it. Uh, so the first question is, uh, what is the reason that you came to Korea? Uh, I came for this study. Study? Yeah, I'm a student in Tucson University. I'm a PhD student in computer. In computer science? Or? Computer science, yeah. Okay, at uh, Chosun University. Chosun University. Awesome. So then the next question is, uh, the name of your country was Persia until 1935, yeah. uh, but it was changed into Iran. Are there any reasons for this change? Uh, the reason that I knew about, I know about that is in Iran there are different uh, people with different language and part with different, different language. Persia is represented only for Persia, but in Iran there is uh, other language, especially uh, Turkish people, Kurdish people, um, uh, Arab people, Lord people, and different language. So when they call it Persia, other people may think, so it's not known to us. For, for, for unity the country as a one country, not only country for Persians, they need to change the name to Iran. So as like a more multicultural aspect? Yes. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, and then I do have a couple other, one very important question up next. And that is, can we bring the cat from Iran uh, by airplane? And if not, do you know how we get the cute Persian cats here? <laughs> So yes, of, of course. Okay, you can just bring them. Do you know about any regulations as far as bringing them over? As I know, no, not regulation. Because in even in case there is some, I in that group, there are some groups in Iran that are care about the animals. Okay. And I I seen that sometimes someone from other countries they say, okay, I wanna adopt that cat, I wanna adopt that dog, so please send send that. Has to me or that to me, and they find someone then they want to travel that country with them. It's not a difficult situation. Just a matter of going on the internet and finding out someone yeah. who can facilitate that. Then. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. And then got a couple more while we were talking there. Um, chaperone is very expensive, I know. Is it common in Iran? And do you know the price? Uh, yes, this is very common, and as you, I you mentioned, in most of food, in rice, especially for rice, we add saffron. Okay. And the price, what, yeah, I think, four years ago, three years ago I left Iran, so I don't know nowadays, but <laughs> it was around six million won per kilo. Okay. Is it like a very light saffron? So it would be dried yeah. uh, very light? Okay, so yeah. nice big bag for some time. When people want to buy, they buy one gram, two gram, something like this. Okay, it comes in different quantities. Yeah. Perfect. And then to continue from this, uh, saffron is used to mix with rice. What's the taste and what other use of saffron is there? Um, what's the taste? Kind of like <laughs> uh, it's not sour, it's not sweet, it's like that. Uh, it's almost like oregano in a way, where it's a uh, herb. Sounds or, like herb. Okay. I don't think that's herb. I didn't know that. I, I could play some, I have some money. Fair. Or, or we could go to our ran experience in there, right? Yeah. Some of the dishes there. Um, Alright, so the next one. Uh, I've heard Iran's situation is not much as good. Um, sorry, Iran's recent situation is not as good if because uh, of the Iraq War. Um, is the Iraq War does it affect Iran seriously? Is there any repercussions to nowadays? Or? Uh, nowadays, in recent times, has it had any long-standing effects? Not nowadays. The, no, the Iraq War is not. Have any affection? Okay. Oh, interesting. Um, and then one other question stemming from this: If your family is in Iran, 
what would they say about the situation? What would the local talk be about the situation? Um, in the situation, it's, uh, I can say it's almost common in Middle Eastern countries. Most of the people, they speak about the uh, quality because in Middle Eastern countries, uh, I think, most of the people, they, 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 are, they, they are not agree with their government. Yeah. So, the majority speaking is speaking about politics mm -hmm. and the government, what they did that, what they did, did, did that decision, something like this. Different opinions. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Uh, and then a very important question again. What is your favorite place to visit in Iran? My hometown. Where is it? Tabriz. Tabriz? It's, yeah. Uh, north. Uh, west of Iran, okay. near to Turkish, Turkish border. So it's close to mountains, or yeah. oh, so like a lush greenery. Yes, yeah. um, and cold, more cold than here. Okay. Yeah. If you like, uh, a few days ago, one of professor in university, uh, he was talking about the weather. He said, "It's too hot." I said, "Yeah, really hot." Yeah, really hot. And he said, "No, it's, it should be." Not difficult for you because your country is more hot than that. <laughs> no, <laughs> my hometown is more colder than here. <laughs> awesome. So are you find the difference from Iran to here then? Uh, getting used to the, the temperatures here? It's a little, a little bit warmer. Uh, mm, one of my friends, no, his city also mm, is not warm place. But the south of Iran, it's a uh, hot. Very yeah. hot deserts, as we saw. It in yeah, some desert, but not the dry hot. More hot and humid. Okay. Especially in the north part, it's hot and humid. Now, if we were to go visit Iran, is there anywhere that you would suggest us to go visit? Uh, for visiting, if you would like to go to historical place, the Isfahan and Shiraz, it's a really good place to visit. Okay. And for if you are interested to nature, social scenery, you can go to east, uh, west of Iran and north, west and uh, north, west, yeah, north and west part of Iran. It's really beautiful. Very diverse, a lot to see. Yeah, sounds like awesome. Um, what is your favorite Iranian dish? Um, my favorite Iranian dish is some kind of soup. Made by carrots, friends, herbs, some vegetables, something like that. Is there a name? Uh, is it a certain name? Uh, we call it Ash. Ash? Ash Reshtech. Ash Okay, that's interesting. And uh, an interesting question. Uh, is there a uh, uh, perception on the Supreme Leader? Like, do they have any opinions on what it sounds like as far as North Korea? Actually, for the Korean leader, I can say most of people hate it. <laughs> it's fact, yeah. Okay. But maybe 10% or 20% people support him because he supports them. Interesting. Yeah. So their, his power is that people, so he support them too much. Certain demographics interacting, and yeah. they keep heels to them. Yeah. Okay. So, but most of people, they, they are not angry with government. Okay. Especially in the So a little bit of a divide there. Yes. Yeah, for example, most of the in, in illegal in Iran, but people do that. Using the satellite fish and satellite receiver is illegal. But yeah. almost 90% of people have that like That's all. Just a way to get around it. Yeah. TV, internet. Yeah, uh, yes. Perfect. Uh, and then one last one from this. Uh, discrimination against women's social involvement. Mm -hmm. Is there is there any discrimination? Um, I know that they do have to wear the scarves. Yes. Is there any uh, public opinion about that? Um, most of people are disagree with that. Some religious people, they say, yeah, they, mm, the woman should have the scarf, but even nowadays in the internet, you can see most of the community that they, say they are against the, um, 
the job the current pay and they want to give the people freedom to want one who wants you can you know, work a job or one who goes on it should be he, she has to be free to uncover freedom of choice yeah. freedom of opinion yeah. Yeah. and being able to make your own decisions and yeah. so the people's opinion moves more towards that yeah. and the government sentiment is where yeah. they believe they should be last night it was a volleyball match between Iran and Brazil in Italy in Florence if you I watched that you could see the some uh, boards reports that people carry about the freedom for women in Iran Okay. Yeah. Do you find it is still a problem in Iran? Uh, the yes, it's a problem. Always a problem. <laughs> yeah, problem in a lot of places in the world. Yeah. Uh, so then, another one, what challenges does Iran have in these modern times? Is there any issues uh, from the agriculture to the economy that Iran is facing right now? Uh, I don't have to... Just any, any issues in mm -hmm. modern times that uh, Iran is facing, whether it's political mm -hmm. or is there any issues that they're facing right now? Um, we have problems with politi political, yeah, we have political problems with parliament. But for other other things, it's the world sanction because of the Iranian uh, nuclear pro program. There is two days. There is lots of sanction against Iran. And even against Iranian students in abroad, for for example, in European countries or US, uh, they don't uh, let Iranian students study about the science about the nuclear thing or physics that's related to nuclear. So it's really problem. Um, someone that is not related to the government, but that the government problem. Uh, affect him. For example, one of my friends is studying in Australia. He, his major is computer, but he, um, his uh, major field is security in computer. He said, my professor said, finish as soon as possible. Maybe next year, the government put some rule that don't let Iranian students study about the security in computer or something like that. Really? Okay. Yeah. Really interesting. Um, and then the last question that I have, unless anyone else has any other questions, um, do people still use the uh, Iranian calendar to this day? Yes. Okay. The Iranian calendar. No one uses the uh, calendar. Calendar is in Iran is only one. <laughs> it's Iranian. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think that's it for the questions. Um, perfect. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.